guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lena if you're new around here and I am a mom of three and we are a family of six I'm married to John and we also have our cousin that stays here with us now um, this is our I wouldn't say our monthly shopping because we'll have to go back in so um, what had happened in in Brisbane we had a flooding and there's lots of flooding going on especially in our area so we had to um, go out and get some groceries especially because it was coming to the end of the month we had none so it was really unexpected for us to get up early and go out and shoot to the shops and we, while we were going out a couple of the roads um, were closed so we had to hurry out and then come back in before we got stuck we got stuck on one side when we were coming back but however we had to drive right around and we ended up finding a spot to come back in so um, Everything's everyone's all right though. We all look good. Um, John will be away from us for the next maybe 10 days We don't know yet. He's away for work. So it's just us and the kids So yeah, I'll show you what we're going and also I I've shot a few clips of the flood that's happening around us So I'll show you that as well So we'll just yeah. So um, this month it's the weather around here is a bit cold like a more colder So I was thinking of just more soups and just warm food um, pot food uh, this month so yeah I got four coconut milks and I'll just make like curries or anything to do with some soups usually we would um, make our strawberry jam however in our shopping there is no uh, fresh fruit so just be aware of that it's just because we had to come back home we we're in a rush to come out so we'll have to go when the rain stops later on if we're not closed in so yeah I'll show you that um, so we got two strawberry jams and I also got one marmalade over here and we I got two creams we shopped at Coles we usually we don't at all shop at Coles but um, this time is different yeah just because the road was closed going into Costco's and we couldn't get through we definitely wouldn't have got back so yeah got two creams we usually get um, the lifelong milk but we just have to make do with what we got also our, our butter here so we got six of the unsalted 250 grams usually we'll get two 500 um grams of unsalted butter it is a lot it comes in a three pack but we definitely do use it for baking and we we always have some leftover so i got two rits over here i got some um some yogurt just a little thing for our yogurt starter because i used all the yogurt um without leaving any out so yeah that's why you could start a yeah two rits and then i also bought three boxes of the um chocolate chip cookies that's actually a, a treat these are treats um but we ate one and i got two shortbread cookies these are for when our visitors come over for cup of teas and um, for our connect groups that we have at home and i also bought two packets of um these six packs of rice wheels again we usually do a big box if you've watched our last month's um grocery haul then but we only just got two packs because they don't sell any in bulk, which is sad, but it's okay. Um, and I got three three breads. We actually didn't get the bread, but that's all right. We we will make our bread, but we just wanted to be safe and, yeah, we just needed food. Um, so we got one wheat box, one big wheat box, and I bought four oats. So these will be used to make our um, porridge, our granolas, or our cereals. Um, and our muesli bars. I was hoping that we could make muesli bars just to cover the kids' snacks. Uh, and over here I got some uh, Vix drops for anyone that ends up giving us sore throat just because it's raining outside if you can see it. Pouring. <laughs> and I bought one canola oil just to top up and down here I bought two cans of, um, of tuna and vegetable oil. We got a a, a crate of water but I think we're going to go back and get some more water we definitely need more water just because of the flooding that's happening um, I also got some seasoning so some, some um, nacho mix and I bought four soup noodles for our soups that we're going to have this month and also I bought three packs of 30 pack of eggs they didn't have any limit on that which was good so yeah we got uh, three of those also I got eight packs of soy milk so um 
so yeah so milk we've really enjoyed it we bought it, we started buying it last month and then now we're going to carry it on our taste buds have really adjusted to the soy milk and we really do enjoy it actually we also bought a 10 pack of full cream one liter milks and that's just because um we put those inside our bread we make our bread or any of the cooking that we do we haven't found really found like a substitute for it i just didn't have the time to look so um just a quick and easy one the one that we know is just with full cream milk now i also bought some milk powder bought some to milk powder powder so if someone doesn't want to have um and the soy milk they can just have the a2 it's just because we're intolerant if we drink it straight from the carton with the full cream milks now topped up on our coffee usually we'll get a big coffee but uh, we can't right now it's okay so we just got a medium size of makona coffee now our mixed veggies we've definitely still got some vegetables inside our freezer so we're just doing a quick top up i again i think we are gonna have to go back to costco's when we can and get some more um things but we don't know yet so yeah uh, i'll keep you updated so yeah i got a bag of mixed vegetables and a bag of peas they're both one kgs now we'll move on to our meat this is our toilet paper we didn't run out of toilet paper actually do you remember last month's grocery i had uh we bought two toilet papers so we're just coming into using that one now and this just will go into our, our storage now over here we've got our meat and all our meats over here so this is our this is two kgs of mince a kg each i asked the butcher if they can just um separate it and i also bought a rump as well and we got them thinly sliced for like our soups or just anything that we're making and i also bought some um chicken breast i think this is a kg or two kgs of chicken breast that will go all in the freezer i also got some sausages as well just for a quick dinner if we need it and i got some bacon as well so this is a big kg of bacon now i'll move over to our candles like like i said we're going for a flood so at any time if the lights go off or we have a power sh shortage that um, we can come in and use these so yeah um all the candles and came out were all sold out so and all the lanterns all the lanterns were sold out for the candles so we only just have the pillars here um but that's okay we got jars that we can use for it so yeah we got two big candles and then we got a pack of candles another pillar candles and then we've got all these tea light candles um 48 packs so i've got lots of lighters over here as well and we also got some um a torch over here it comes with some batteries and another torch and another torch and then over here we just got lots of different types of batteries that we might need um triple a double a and these d4 and over here we just got a quick top off of baking powder or oh, baking paper <laughs> cling wrap or we call it glad wrap or and um and foil and come over to our kids side so usually i'll get a box of these uh from costos but i actually just bought one pack i was hoping that maybe this week or next week we could we could go over and just see if we could get a box of these and just um a little bit more of other stuff and i got a three pack of baby wipes uh, these ones are the fragrant free ones i really don't like the ones that have uh, fragrance in it um just because my my little one my little girl is um she's she's really her skin is sensitive so i also bought a box of um nappies for her just as a top up we go cloth nappies but sometimes when i get a little bit lazy i do put a, uh, this nappy in here for her yeah so this is our road that we usually drive on. It goes all the way up to the lights. And there's also a playground down there, but I guess that it's underground now. So we're just gonna take a walk um, down to the golf course. And I'll show you how that is. <laughs> I packed our emergency um, stuff last night as well, just in case. But we set up big prayer last night and we woke up to no waters, which was good. So thank you, Lord. Hi, morning. <laughs> were you guys all right? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. I got pretty up there with the golf course, but it's a bit of rain out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some. 
Your guys swimming pool. <laughs> wow, I can't get over down there. Look at that. All down there. This is all the golf course and the park now that's flooded because there's a little river where we are. Look, you can see the um you can see the birds now they're coming to have a play. <laughs> Down there. It's just amazing. Yeah, lucky. So these houses all up here as well. The community was really good. Everyone wants to stay together and connected through Facebook. I'm just checking up on all the elderly people. We ended up going out and just um, washing, uh, drying the rest of our clothes. And, and getting some more water because we, we didn't get enough water <clears throat> just in case if there's a problem with the water filters and the sink so um, we're prepared with our water this is crazy yeah we've been here for two years in, um, in our area and I've never seen it like this Pardon? My tricks are already stuck. Oh, okay. Somebody else is showing us tricks. <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there's two. Oh, two again. Nice show. <laughs> well, the birds are loving it. Oh, Sam's. Take off my socks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, they're having so much fun. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a couple of days from our grocery haul. So we have found a spot where we um, we shopped at a like a local uh, fruit and veggie store. They didn't have any kale, they didn't have any spinach. So I'll just show you what we got for our fruit and vegetables. This might last us maybe just like about a week, uh, two weeks. But then we'll have to go back in. Just um, the place where we normally shop and the supermarkets like Coles or... Um, Woolworths, their fruit and vegetables is really expensive so we try to um, source it locally and the other place where we go to um, they were yeah they were closed for the floods and also where um, the flea markets that are normally on we will get our fruit and vegetables as well was uh, closed due to the floods so um, this is another spot we found and we only stayed on the motorway going there and the motorway coming back so my sister-in-law recommended this place so we went there as well so I'll show you now <laughs> okay so over here we have a big whole watermelon I cracked on the ground so I had to put it in a bowl over here <laughs> So I'll have to cut that up and then we'll have to eat that as soon as possible. Over here we've got six beetroot. we got a, a few stalks of rosemary. I've got four. These are not large ones. These are only small ones. But four um, pineapples. They will be for our juices. And also we've got four bunches of banana over here. We've got a full celery for our juices as well. And here I think it's like maybe about a kg of uh, grapes. Green grapes. Then we've got a kg of... Um, green pears and we've got two one kgs of apples in here so i think these are the gala apples um they were about two dollars 99 per kg and also we've got a um a little pack of onions i think they were maybe about three dollars yeah it must be about three dollars and then we've got one two three bags of oranges for our juices or for the kids to snack on Sorry guys, my family was listening to me, so my voice was just going lower and lower. <laughs> but 
<laughs> but yeah, um, so that's what we got. I, I don't know how long it's gonna last us, maybe a couple of weeks. We don't know how long the flood's gonna be um, lasting. One of our roads are closed, as you saw in the video. Um, actually, it's gone much worse now. Um, so right now we're just lucky we've got lots of dry good ingredients from last month that we did and we've got like lots of pantry we've got flour like all the essentials that we need so um everything will be all good from here but i'll leave the turtle up here and you guys take care and yeah god bless bye